human design. I got very deeply into that. And Ra-Ru-Bu, who who is, you know, very much ignore your mind, ignore your mind. Just you've got to feel a different part of your body. And, and with him, it was the, the guts and mm-hmm. and now it's more the heart. How would you rate living from the heart versus living from the gut? From the head to the heart is a long journey. But the gut is like too far away. And the, and the heart is already quite a journey for most people. And um, I can get there. You know, I can get to the heart. It can be in every present moment. And it can be kind of, you know, a tree, a river. It, it, it's a flowing thing, but it can be there, connected and, and there. But also there's, there's one thing that comes to my mind as we're saying this, is that the sadness and the difficulties, I think there are immense difficulties, and lots of people have difficulties, but I don't think about them anymore, but they did kind of carve out the space for the river or tree of whatever joy that, that is there now. And I've heard that, I didn't like it, that, you know, the when you go through difficulties, it carves out a space where you can be joyful but I really feel it right now and I said before as a, as a kid the tears went down on the inside because I didn't want to be bullied um, and I, I was absolutely prime candidate for being bullied but I had the IQ to cover it up I had HFA high functioning autism or Asperger's all this kind of stuff but I had the intelligence to say I'm not doing what gets the attention so the tears ran down the inside for many, many years, and they got worse and worse and worse. Um, and that's created a huge space inside me for this channel of, of love and magic and stuff that I, I feel now. So I don't know if it's necessary. I do know that people who are... Oh, I've been through it all, so... You know, I, I know that people who have been through it all, there is light. It, um, <laughs> it's a strange world, but... You, you can replace all that when you turn another way and find the way you will find that it allows you to appreciate yeah. life itself like oh. you experience the intensity is i wouldn't even call it loss but incorrect thinking yeah because it's only incorrect thinking but it's misuse of your mind that keeps you in the trauma but until you learn how to connect with that force yeah. and stay there. Um, but then once you learn what the power of connection is, then gradually it all starts to repair. You stay in that higher frequency, you attain that higher frequency. Yeah. And then it becomes so much more simple to be happy because before all of the, the drama, uh, we think of happiness as something so much bigger that we keep chasing it and chasing it and then once you learn how to heal through your passion through your joy it's like oh happiness is just the moment yeah <laughs> yeah i mean the important thing is to cut the past to say it didn't exist just that's a simple way that we can free ourselves from it and then you are not carrying that bag into every moment of, I can't be happy because, uh, no. But many people do have that, and it is all, it's switchable. It it can change into joy. All of that can change into joy. And that's what's happened with me. All of the place that was immensely challenged and sad and, and I've been through stuff, all of it is now just a space and there's light and magic and love there. Um, so yeah, whoever's listening to this and moved to to be tuned into it, it it can change. I think it can change in a moment, but it can change and it will change and it must change. And, and you find the way. This guy's very good for guiding that. By the way, this, <laughs> this guy is my top guy on the planet for guiding anyone. It only works if people implement the change. So yeah, but I think I can see the what's there and show them what will help them help them connect inside with yeah. the source that will guide them and learn how to work through the challenges that come up and reconnect to that soul of spin some people don't want to do that well it's, it's horses for courses you know i mean people have different connections 
Um, probably we were in reincarnations before or something like that. Something like that. So we we're already, you know, we found each other, each other and thought, ah, oh, there's, there's a connection there. We, we had lifetimes together or something like that. Other people have lifetimes with other people. They find their own gurus or advisors, consultants, whatever path. But everybody can be happy. Every, I'm totally convinced everybody can be happy. And that's, that's what the, the website's going to be out, blissbeings.com. <laughs> I, I mean, you've got the website name and you weren't using it. I said, can I have it? Blissbeings.com, because that's, that's what I feel. That you, beings can be blissful. Life can be blissful. And it's about... Being can be blissful. Blissful can be being. Yeah, we can be being... Blissful. Being is just blissful. It's just being. And it's kind of about coincidence. It's kind of about... Uh, synchronicity. Synchronicity, yes. That's the thing, is... Magic. Yeah, magic. Is, is how to have coincidence uh, and your mind can't do it but your heart can well it the thing is, is it's always happening it's already happening it's been happening since the moment you were born just until you've learned to live from the heart you don't see it because the heart's what notices well the, our culture the hearts what notices all those patterns and synchronicities and once you tune into that energy yeah. it's like you, it feels like you get way more of them because you notice so many more of them and but they're always in the right point. Like, it's only when you stay connected with the heart do you see that bigger pattern. The universe show it to you. Like, the number's there at the right time. Of course it is. We meet the person at the right time. We, yeah. we arrived, even though we thought we were latish, exactly at the right time. Effortless flow. Exactly. Every it, moment. It's a labyrinth. It's like solving a Rubik's Cube. It is complex, but it's a labyrinth. But there is... It's, I mean, your heart is where you feel the passion, you feel the excitement that takes this step and the next step in every now moment. And it's as though there is a higher or deeper self that can only communicate with you with, with passion in your heart in this now moment. And that step by step turn is a labyrinth. It's a big puzzle, but you have to take each step one by one. And that's where the heart gets this now moment how about you go down this street? And you've got to be sensitive to that and think, this no moment, do I want to do this? Do I want to stop? Do I want to wait a bit? And then the coincidence piece happens and then everything's fantastic. Yeah. Great. Well, this has been a fascinating chat. Incredible. It's been, a, it's been great to have you in this Good place. to see you happy all the time. Oh, yeah. 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 Amazing. Uh, I hope everyone can feel this energy. The bliss. Ev everyone can, and that's why I want um, blissbeings.com. It's going to happen. It's going to be a community. People just become happy and meet up. Particularly, I'm thinking like the, the 1st of February, the 1st of November, these, these cross quarter days, 1st of May, 1st of August, is it? This is the cross quarter days. Because mm -hmm. people already do something on the solstice, they do something on the equinox. So take the days between there, and approximately. Uh, First, I think it's time we go. No time we go. We have enough. Ciao, ciao. Blessing. Death. On a spaceship of Babel, we are guiding through the stars on a five year mission beyond Jupiter and Mars. A celestial encounter on a future now is dark, and you both hear us coming as we whisper in the dark. There's an Ewok close behind me as we try to disembark here yeah, Don't be one Kenobi as we whisper in the dark